Don't let those hips drop too much. Keep them up. Oh, baby. <sighs> My current diet is DoorDash and Postmates. I don't go outside that much. Majority of my entire life is just me just like sitting on my ass. All of this is gonna be new to him and it's gonna be a shock to the system. Your body is literally saying, what the hell are you doing to me right now? What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel into our series, Extreme Body Makeover, where I take friends, fans, and some of your favorite influencers on the extreme body makeover of their dreams, completely revamping their health, fitness, and overall lifestyle. In this episode, I will be taking on an extreme body makeover for my dear friend, Matt Cahey, AKA Mac Does It. YouTube sensation Mac is one of the funniest people I know. I met Mac when he was a little baby YouTuber with only 10,000 subscribers. And last year, he totally blew up. Going on a world tour, performing at Playlist, hitting 1.7 million subscribers. I am so, so proud of Mac and not only how he has grown his channel, but also remained a humble and genuinely kind individual. I really admire Mac's work ethic too. So I'm really looking forward to having the opportunity of supporting him and giving him some time to focus on himself throughout this challenge. But before we dive into this video, I want to say a quick thank you to Care Of for partnering with me on this video. It's because of awesome brands like Care Of that we are able to continue making high quality, kick ass content like this. Care Of is a Super Bowl service that delivers customized vitamin packs right to your door. So here's what you do take this quiz on the Care Of website, which asks questions about your diet, lifestyle, and health goals. Then you get a recommended personalized vitamin pack. Mine even has my astrology reading. I really like the Calcium Plus tablet because a few years ago I was having bone density issues and osteoporosis. Opinion. You guys know that I love setting goals, and this year my goal is to make the lifestyle change of taking proactive steps to improve my bone health. I love pushing myself through training and nutrition, but sometimes that's not enough, and Care of helps me get those extra benefits. I'm really excited to offer 50% off the first month of Care of Packs to the first 100 people who go to the link in my description. Go to takecareof.com and use my promo code Michelle50. Also through a partnership through the Good Plus Foundation, every purchase you make through Care of helps put prenatal vitamins in the hands of a mother in need, which is just freaking awesome. Hello, I am Mac Cahey. I am 22. You might know me from that weird black guy on the internet named Mac Does It that does the crackiest things ever. Me and Michelle have known each other for too long. I don't even <laughs> know, actually. It's been like, what, four or five, four years? I don't even know. We're old. We've done collabs together. I've been on MK Ultra. Michelle, you are a goddamn superhero. <laughs> now untie me. And now I'm here doing fitness for Michelle so she can get views. What? <laughs> <laughs> Fitness is like that one acquaintance that you meet from time to time for like group projects. That's how fitness is. I'm just like, hey, what's up, girl? High five like here and there and then like disappear for like two months. Mac, yeah. I am so... <laughs> I can't believe you're here. I'm so I excited. Either. I can't either. And I'm really, <laughs> really excited to introduce you to Brandon and How's Nick. Going? Brandon is going to be your nutritionist throughout this experience. Great. And Nick is going to be your trainer, kicking your ass in the gym. Kicking your butt. Awesome. The next we love a good wins. ass kicking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, came to the right place. Yep. <laughs> what are you looking to get out of this? My biggest health and fitness goal is to organize myself in a way where I can be more healthy instead of feeling like I'm too busy editing this video for my fans. I definitely want to chimp some body fat, you know, stay a little thick. I like being thick. Stop jiggling a lot. I, like I told you in an email, I want to turn my bowl of jelly into a thick custard. So. <laughs> <laughs> Avoid diabetes is probably the biggest one too. Diabetes runs my entire family on both sides. So sometimes it feels like it's inevitable for me. My doctor also said I had high cholesterol as well. And I, I'm like close to being pre-diabetic, which is also like terrible. So that's like the yeah. biggest scare for me right now. I just want to cook more. I'm okay. such like a busy person. It takes me 40 hours alone just to edit one video. Video. So like the majority of my entire life is just me just like sitting on my ass. If you're editing a video and you need to eat, 
what do you do? My current diet is DoorDash and Postmates. I DoorDash everything, even if it's like half a block away, I'll still DoorDash it because I don't want to go outside. A lot of Wendy's, too much Taco Bell for the average human. What's a salad, right? I spend an average of almost $200 a day on Postmates. I was blown away. I personally haven't used that kind of service before, so I had no idea, but you could feed a small family for that price. The very first time that I met Mac, what struck me most was his aura of joy and how much he just loved to have fun and laugh and do silly things. As we've both grown as YouTubers, there is a sentiment of pressure for views and growth that can sometimes overshadow your original passion. I'll edit until like five o'clock in the morning because I'm like, oh, it's not done yet. Oh, I need to like impress the world. I can't like go to bed until I'm satisfied with myself. And that's probably my biggest problem is that I'm just so hard on myself when it comes to YouTube to the point that I like don't give myself rest on it. This is the most painful part <laughs> and it will be over fast. <laughs> <laughs> the moment of truth. Moment of truth. 284.4. Yeah. When I first saw the numbers, I was shocked. Absolutely shocked. I like never measure myself like ever. The last time I weighed myself was like three years ago. To know that like it's almost 300 pounds is really heart wrenching. I don't know. Body fat percentage. We are as at 27 percent. Okay. Over 30 percent is considered obese. Fit for men is considered between 12 and 18 percent. But we're young. We can make these changes and get you down to a more healthy level. You don't have any injuries. You don't have any like specific limitations other than your chaotic schedule. I think you probably could lose about 15 pounds. So averaging two pounds per week. And that would drop that body fat down quite a bit. Maybe just out of the 20s and into the teens on body fat. Wow. If we work hard enough. We're gonna be hitting it hard in the gym, lifting weights. Weight training by itself isn't gonna get it done. We're gonna need some of that long, slow, dedicated cardio. It's really what's gonna help us burn the extra fat. How do you feel? Surreal. I don't know. Cause I don't talk about my weight, but I feel like it's like the elephant in the room half the time. Especially like when I'm like in like a big group and we have to like share a car. I'm always sitting in the front seat for a reason. I really admire your bravery to share that mm -hmm. and to go through this. It's not easy, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> People find me such like a big inspiration, so I feel like I always have to be strong and I always have to be like confident in myself. And so it's like weird to like tell the world that I'm insecure a little bit, you know? Everyone in my immediate family has like had this big weight loss and has like cared about their weight. My mom dated a trainer and now she lost a lot of weight. And I tried to do it with her, but I just kept on saying, I'm busy, I'm busy, I'm busy, I have no time. But that was just like an excuse for myself, you know? I want to feel more confident when I'm at events, especially being in this industry. It really does take a toll on you. That's one of the main reasons why I don't go outside that much. I'm excited. I'm ready. Day one. My workout is at three. Yesterday, Brandon told me that I can eat some oatmeal. That's like a good suggestion even for a workout. Just some plain ass tasteless oatmeal in the morning or the afternoon. <laughs> wow, we love this. We love fitness, guys. They told me to eat early, at least like an hour or so before a workout, because if you don't, you might throw up apparently. I don't want to gear it on my first day. I just threw up a lot. So <laughs> I'm eating at 12. Am I nervous about the first day? I don't want to die. Things that you're gonna do every single time we come into the gym, your cardio warm up. That should basically get you sweating. Beads of sweat are starting to build up. After your cardio warm up, we're gonna hit some dynamic stretches. This is gonna probably take it to the dripping level. On stretching? Yep. <laughs> The first day in the gym is always really intimidating for anyone. Coming into a new space, a new community, trying something that is scary to try, and I'm so proud of Mac for just doing it. And that, my friend, is our warm-up. Oh, no. Oh. oh. It's gonna be a very long seven weeks. <laughs> All right, we got our plank. Nice flat back position, I like it. Don't let those hips drop too much, keep them up. Oh, baby. <sighs> Come on back up, come on back up. You got this. 
I never like felt that much pain in my back until that day. Like I was literally trembling. Dig deep, hold tight. Four, three, two, one, relax. All of this is gonna be new to him and it's gonna be a shock to the system. So he's gonna need to take more rest. He's gonna need to kind of ease himself into it. Sorry. I did not think I can like continue on with the program. I was like, I can't feel my back. Everything hurts. What's happening? Is it supposed to feel this way? Little did I know, it was just like my body in shock being like, oh, what the hell are you doing, Mac? All right, what do you say we uh, move on from this exercise no. and jump, and jump no, into the step I don't want to. <laughs> I want to finish this one. I like it. Uh, that's the attitude you got to have. You got to want to finish it, no matter how you're feeling. <laughs> so we'll take your mind off your legs and back here a little bit mm -hmm. with some upper body. I am so proud of Mac. Mac really pushed through that workout. We could have stopped. Just like Nick said, that is the mindset required to take on a challenge like this. Be respectful of your body needing to take breaks, but then return to the work you need. And I feel like that pairs really well with the mindset that we want to set in this episode. Being able to know when to take breaks for yourself, but then also having the courage to try again. Is that it? That's it, man. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, what, man? <laughs> you survived day okay. one. Mac, amazing job. I'm so proud of you. I'm proud of myself, too. It's only the beginning, my friend. Mac did a great job considering how long it's been since he's worked out. I think cardio was the biggest factor for Mac. You know, again, his body's just not used to this and it's gonna take some time to really acclimate. I think my main problem I have to work with on these seven weeks is just how I'm a passionate person. And I'm so passionate to the point that I don't think of myself because I was just willing just to go through it. Like I probably would have fainted if I didn't like stop myself for a quick second. I'm nervous for the next workout, of course. <laughs> but I'm more excited to get like, I guess, used to it. Get that stamina up, right? Yeah. Honestly, no pain, no gain. Okay, bitch, I feel the muscles growing already. Okay, it's only been day one. <laughs> next two days after the first day, I was the most sore I've ever been in my entire freaking life. Like, I literally did not even want to get out of my bed sore. I'm sore in areas I've never been sore before. Take that as you will. It feels nice a little bit, but at the same time, ouch, you know? For basically every off day, I'm supposed to do 30 minutes of cardio. It is currently pouring rain in Los Angeles, so I'm about to walk in the rain to go walk on a treadmill for 30 minutes and then walk back home in the rain. Doing this to be healthy, right guys? It was kind of difficult on the off days. I was very like hesitant on going, especially like the timing of going because like on the off days, that's when I spent my time editing or doing other things. I kept on pushing off doing the workout. Mac made a big lifestyle change by starting to buy groceries every single week and cook the majority of his own foods. <sighs> okay, so we just... <laughs> So we just got our nutrition. This thing is down to like a science. It's very specific. Like how many carbs I should be eating for each meal, how many proteins, how many fats. Half a cup of granola, half a banana. I'm supposed to eat half a banana for breakfast with other stuff. The one that gets me the most is my snack. 10 grapes, <laughs> 10, not 11. Not 12. One, two, three, four, five. I'm supposed to eat five times a day? Since when? Like what? This is fitness? <laughs> With Mac's program, I really wanted to work on helping control his cholesterol levels. And with someone like him, where he's getting close to being pre-diabetic, making sure that his insulin levels are stable is really important. So like eating consistently throughout the day helps keep him stable, but also prevents him from overeating, which can cause those to spike. For breakfast, I had four links of Applegate sausage, egg whites, I did start off with Cheerios and a banana, but then I switched that to Nutri-Grain Eggos and honey, which tasted amazing. <laughs> like Eggos with honey, never thought that was like a thing that you can eat and like enjoy, but it is. My snack was Ritz crackers and Canadian bacon. My lunch is at five. The entire meal plan schedule was like around my wake up time because I'm a YouTuber, I wake up at like 11. I didn't really have to change my entire life for it, which is awesome. So at five, I had eight ounces of chicken, avocado, broccoli, every single day, twice a day. I had a second snack after lunch, which was the 10 grapes. <laughs> and two scoops of the whey protein, which then I switched out to cranberry juice and then a power crunch bar, which is also whey protein. And then for dinner, I had chicken again, broccoli, 
baked beans and more avocado. We didn't give him like a super low carb diet, but moderate to low and then proteins high and fats kind of somewhere in the middle. So here's how I do a grocery list. I basically divide the grocery list into two sections, all the bulk items. So mm -hmm. anything that will like be on your shelf for months and it won't go bad. Then I have a separate section for perishable, which is like your chicken. For bulk items, you're gonna wanna just buy a ton of them. Mm -hmm. And then what you're actually gonna end up buying every single week is the perishables. Okay. So that's your true grocery list. Mm -hmm. So today will probably be like $50 more expensive than mm -hmm. usual. Okay. And then it'll go down every other week because you'll have purchased everything else you need. People will often think that healthy foods are really expensive, but they're not as expensive as if you're gonna eat out all the time. Obviously, if you're preparing your foods, the cost is gonna go way down than if you're having someone else prepare them for you. I definitely got into the notion of grocery shopping. I actually look forward to doing it every single week. <laughs> what is he chef? Gordon Ramsay is shaking. Ooh! Pop, pop, sizzle, bitch! Hey. <laughs> That went all in one spot. <laughs> Everyone was kind of on board what I was doing. My boyfriend cooked some of my meals for me when I was editing, which was like a lifesaver. But like, since they weren't on it, they were always like getting fast food or bringing home ramen. I love ramen. That's like the one thing I've always been craving since day one. So, you know, I'm just here, you know, making some chicken. When Jake decides to do the most evil thing a human can do, he got ramen. <laughs> You're still eating it while I'm filming this. I hate you! Ah! We went out to a bar, and then after the bar, they went to Chick-fil-A. They were all drunk, going to Chick-fil-A, like eating all this Chick-fil-A, and I'm just sitting there. Mm. Ah, this is so good, guys. This is, I hate you all. Eating breakfast doing a three mile hike because this boy wants to see the Hollywood sign up and close. And then on top of that, I have to go to the grocery store to buy more food. And on top of that, I wanted to finish editing a video today that I'm not even halfway finished editing that I have to submit for sponsorships. So my mind is like, shit. <laughs> I guess I'm having a down moment right now. Not really down, just weird and stressed and chaotic. I learned that taking time to take care of yourself is not as much of an obstacle as I kept on trying to make it. Those excuses I was putting in my head were just more of a fear thing. Like I was afraid of people like realizing how out of shape I was or how like of a messy human being I was if I don't have my life together. So I kind of was like, oh, I'm so busy. Oh, I'm so busy being so successful. I can't do this. Oh, I'm just gonna order Postmates and all this unhealthy stuff. I don't need to take care of myself. I have money now. Just a few simple things in your life you just swap out and just keep on going. It is the start of week three. I have so many cravings. <laughs> Like, I just want a fucking donut. Like, I want a donut and a daiquiri and some ramen. Like, can a bitch eat some ramen? Why can't I just, like, have a fast metabolism? Like, why can't I just be, like, blessed with some, like, genetic shit? I don't know. Why can't I have made better life choices growing up? Honestly, you know, put down the McDonald's Mac. <laughs> Go, go jog a mile when you were like 15. This is like pretty much gonna be like the first week I'm literally like doing this just myself. Like my roommate is gonna be working insane hours this week. Michelle isn't doing the training with me anymore. I'm doing it by myself now. I feel like this week's gonna be like the most challenging for me because I don't have those people like right next to me in my face telling me what to do or helping me out or like cooking things for me when I'm like editing. I am not ready. You can't really learn without doing things on your own, I guess. I don't know, but we're gonna get through this. I actually did push myself. Like, I walked in the rain to the gym sometimes. I walked late at night. Like, I was like, I'm gonna do this. Like, this is my challenge. I need to do it. In the beginning, it was kind of like, it felt more of a obstacle in a sense of my normal day. But then like, the more I did it and how I did it every single day, it kind of just became a normal thing. Look at my little baby Mac. He's grown so much. Look at him go. I'm so proud, oh my god. So me and Oliver are currently in the middle of moving things into our new apartment, and we just discovered that the apartment has a fitness center, so I decided I was gonna get in my 30 minutes right here while moving. <laughs> Yeek. I found a way to incorporate everything else that I do into this plan, and I don't wanna stop. <laughs> There's two weeks left. I guess you can tell, like, my, my face is kind of like slimmed down a little bit. That's cool, that's great. But <laughs> I wanted to say something very like personal 
happened to me, which caused me like to break down. I had a big breakdown and everyone around me was like, you deserve ramen. You deserve to like have a cheat day because of this mental thing that you just went through. And I didn't cheat, <laughs> you know? Like I didn't want to cheat. I was like, no, I don't want to do it. I don't want to eat ramen. I don't want to like have something sweet or something. Like I don't, I don't want to cheat. Like, you know, I'm, I'm on my last two weeks. I'm going to push through this no matter like what's going on in my life. I really like want to finish this proud of myself. Just having a little bit of structure went a long way with him. His skin looked so much better and he looked more vibrant. You look like a different human. When you walked in the gym today, I was I haven't seen you in like two weeks. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh my God, like <laughs> what the hell? I feel like I have much more of an energy that yeah. I never knew I was missing for a while. I feel like working out a lot has brought it back, so. I'm so glad. <laughs> and like when you told me like you're moving and you got your new apartment and everything, mm -hmm. working out and being healthy escalates your whole life. Mm -hmm. And people don't realize that. This makes so me feel like I'm I can really take more healthy. initiatives more and all that stuff, so yeah. Excited! Yeah! <laughs> Final week! <laughs> The weird part is that throughout this entire like weeks and stuff, the one thing I thought I was gonna crave but I actually didn't crave at all was fast food. I didn't even crave Wendy's at all. It shows me that it's like more of a quick fix to me than the actual something that I wanted. I feel happy, I feel cool, I feel great, you know? In the final week, I felt like every time I walked in the gym, I felt like I belonged there. Like, it was just like a normal day. Like, everyone else like knew who I was. They saw me every other day, literally. Mac texted me the other day and he's like, I felt great, so I did 45 minutes on the elliptical Ooh. today. Casual! Just a, a little humble brag, <laughs> a little humble brag. I love how Mac's like pretending to suffer, but like actually <laughs> kicking ass. Beforehand, after I worked out every training day, like that would literally just be my day. I literally wouldn't do anything because I'd be so tired. But then like for the final week, literally it was just like an hour of my day out and then I would go back to just doing my normal living, filming. Now I don't even want to stop working out because I feel like I don't want to get back to that point where I'm like insanely sore again. All right, Mac, don't look, just look straight ahead. Got it. We just got the finals. Yeah. Final weight, final circumference. Oh, I'm so excited. You ready for this? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember what you started with? No. Okay, so it was 284.4. Okay. Okay. Today you were 268.8. Yeah. <laughs> so you've dropped oh. 15 and a half pounds. We always say one to two pounds a week is phenomenal. Anything more is just fantastic. You averaged about two and a half pounds per week. Chest, you lost two and three fourths inches off your chest. Waist, you lost five inches. I was kind of in disbelief. I was like, you're lying. I don't I don't feel that. I don't feel the five inches. I'm not saying I'm great at this. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to see your before and afters? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Okay. Well, look at the profile. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. oh yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay. See, that's where it shows wow. profile for guys. We were talking about the way your neck changes, mm -hmm. which is so weird. But like, mm -hmm. look at your neck. This is the one where I see the most difference in the back. That's incredible, Meg. That's I hope insane. you're excited. I, I'm, I am. I feel accomplished. That's a big thing. I feel happy. I feel excited, bright, I'm glowing. I keep noticing this vibrance about you. Yeah, I feel like I'm back to my normal self. Like me, when I started YouTube, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> you don't really notice how much of a, like, a negative toll YouTube can take on you when you like get so invested into it. Once you guys forced me to take care of myself, <laughs> now I feel like, yeah, I'm back to normal. At the photo shoot, Mac was just having the time of his life. Mac pretends like he doesn't know how to strike a pose and model, but he does. And it's amazing how natural he makes it look. He was totally just like working it. I felt like I was finally seeing the Mac that I knew from a few years ago when we just first met. Serious? I do want to lose more weight. Like I said before, I kind of want to shoot for like 20 pounds. That will be a challenge, but we'll do it. I am excited to continue watching your journey, and I am so thankful for you as a friend in my life. I feel like we got closer. Yeah. Which we were already close in the first place. <laughs> you actually made training like 
fun. Like every time, you, oh. like I was happy when you were there. I was like, yeah. Like you also <laughs> pushed me too. Like I kept on like having to be on your pace. Watching you go through this has inspired me a lot too. Watching you overcome what you did, and even seeing you every day in the gym, like push through the plank, push through everything, makes me feel like I can work harder on all other areas of my life too. Mm -hmm. So thank you for inspiring me. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment below with what YouTuber you want to see take on the Extreme Body Makeover Challenge next. And as always, subscribe so we can keep on going on more adventures together. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Mac because he's the best. Have a great day. Bye. What's up, guys? I want to tell you about a brand new Instagram challenge I am doing. Using the hashtag IamUltra, write a post and tag me in it, of course, telling me a bit about how you have stepped outside of your comfort zone and done something that scares you. To me, being ultra means pushing beyond the limits, going extreme, and learning new things from it. Every single week, I'm going to take my favorite posts and feature them at the end of my YouTube videos. So, what are you waiting for? Go be ultra. And I can't wait to see your posts.